um, one, of, one of our very own special persons over here in the, with us on the show decided to celebrate her birthday on a day that is raining so heavily. And uh, we still can't understand why it has to happen the way it did. But uh, Jenny, uh, Jennifer is part of our team here and our producer uh, extraordinaire here on the show. And uh, she celebrates her birthday today. So we all say happy birthday going out to you, Jennifer. Uh, next time when you're celebrating your birthday, make sure the rings don't come. Uh, the rain snow comes and we know the seat top. <laughs> means the rain comes. All right, so that's what it is. But uh, we wish her the very best. We're going to sing happy birthday for her uh, by the close of the show. But right now, though, uh, Spike is in here. And uh, we're going to be talking about uh, facial recognition technology and a few other things that we'll probably talk about, including privacy as well. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, gadgets, you're using it, uh, there's a facial recognition. You do not understand what it is, privacy, and all of that. We're going be taking our attention to it real quick here on the show so spiky hi uh, tally good to see you man good to be everything here cool? as always everything 100 okay. except yeah. the weather yeah terrible situation <laughs> but i like man. rain though you love it i love rain ah yeah, it's just always i hate heat okay so when it rains rain, you're happy it's cool yeah but uh the the flooding situation doesn't the flooding situation is as a result exciting. of poor planning mm. <laughs> So yes, <laughs> you can't blame anybody for that. <laughs> blame the politicians, right? Exactly. All right. So, but we're not definitely going to blame uh, technology for making anything difficult for us, are we? Yeah, technology will fix everything. It does, does it? Yes. It does. It does. <laughs> we don't I see mean, it <laughs> because we don't use it right. Okay. I mean, we are not talking about that, but I would have told you well, so many things. Crazy stuff. Okay, <laughs> but let, we'll, we'll look at it, you know, some time to come. Sure, I'm sure, sure we'll have a way of making it, you know, useful on, mm. the, on this very show as well. So, but now we're looking at facial recognition. Mm -hmm. When we say facial recognition, what are, exactly are we talking about? So you use an iPhone. Yes. Before you unlock it, it looks like I do it this way. And then unlocks. Yes. Basically, facial recognition. I don't know if I, if I sleep, it can open still. So, there's levels of facial recognition. Oh. If you take a simple phone, like an old phone that has facial recognition, all it does is look at your face mm -hmm. and compare it to a database of its pictures that it has of your face. Okay. And then see if it matches. So it's looking at certain points. So this side, this side, so distance between your eyes, oh. you know, um, compare this. And it does this, um, it's, it's a geometric shape that it does. So it's a mathematical equation okay. to make sure that um, and it processes all of that? It processes all of that in a split second and knows, okay, that's you, open. With your iPhone, it projects dots on okay. your face. So you see that notch on your screen over there? Okay, this top? Yes, that notch over there, mm. this very one over here. Okay. Yes, it also, it's, that's where it has a, a dot projector and an infrared camera. Ah. So the dots being projected, you can't see it, but the infrared camera can see it. Okay. Now that also does, what it does is it maps out your face. So when you do, you, if you did geography, those who did geography know like topology, how you see land going okay. down, up, contour and all, contours of those, things, and all yeah. those things. You have all those on your face because there are ridges, there's, you know, the nooks and crannies in your yeah. face that nobody else has. Okay. So when it maps out all this, it saves it in a database. And every time you pick up your phone, it projects these dots on your face, does a mathematical equation and compares them. It picks all of it. It picks all of it in a split second sees, okay, is it the same? Yes, unlock. But it happens so fast. Yes, technology. I told you. you don't, don't underestimate <laughs> it us. It makes life easier. <laughs> <laughs> so that's in a split second. That's all that computation, all that processing, and tells that, okay, this is KMJ. Now, in order, you mentioned, you know, asleep. Um, so Apple and most of the smartphone manufacturers have put in a, a fail-safe to make sure that if your eyes are closed, it doesn't detect Ah, yeah, that's you. That has saved us a lot. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> because I know a friend who's... Okay, but no, not to catch mm. him though. Uh, there's this movie that I watch, um, I think about um, Wait, three a weeks ago. Movie or no, it's a foreign <laughs> movie. Um, I'm still trying to remember the, the title of the movie. Very, very nice mm. movie. Somebody died. It was actually married. Right. So the girlfriend who was with her at that time uh, went to the morgue with the police officer. Mm. So she has the phone of the girl with her. And then ask the police officer to excuse her so she can have the moment with the girl who is dead, actually, with her eyes closed and all mm. that. And then she picks the phone. Now the phone was locked. So she picked the girl's phone and stretched the phone on the girl's eye and she gets access to the phone. So, you know, movies sometimes they make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Depending I, on I, which. I, what I saw, I said, oh, no, this is a mistake. Some <laughs> phones will let that happen. Okay. Some phones will let that happen. So, 
uh, before before um, your story, yeah. a friend of mine's daughter always wants to play games with her phone. So she sneaks her mom's phone and shows it to her face while she was sleeping. Uh. It didn't unlock. She goes to pick up her mom's picture and shows the phone to the picture and it unlocks. Uh. Yes, and she plays her game. So when she woke up, really? her daughter was playing <laughs> the game and she was like, how did you unlock? He said, I used your picture. Right? Yeah, so it happens. For certain phones that the security is not so high. You can't okay. do that with an iPhone or some of the latest but iPhone Android is not phones. Happen. No, it needs the eyes okay. to be open. It needs attention. Even if you're looking away, sometimes it wouldn't unlock because it can't detect your face. Now I can take a good breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they can use your finger. But the person can do this. <laughs> if you are if you're wasted, still away. If you are drunk and you're wasted, the person just has to pull your eyes open and just unlock and it. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. Like there has to be that focus yeah. and then it can unlock it. Once that's done, then you have that access. So facial recognition, that is a basic way of you know um, explaining what it is mm -hmm. it's basically a picture or um, a map of your face just like with the thumbprints it's a map of your finger okay. prints, all the ridges in there that it compares to a database mm -hmm. to make sure that that is you mm -hmm. so you notice that with the iPhone you have to turn your head around yeah when you're it, when you're setting the, uh, yeah. all the angles every side all the depths and the shadows everything so it gets all of that and stores it Mm. As compared to password, what are some of the benefits that comes with the facial recognition? I think a lot of people would love to use that, you know, as compared to password. You can't forget your face. That's number one. Okay. Or you can forget the password. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's number one, the, the ease of, you know, using it. Passwords, yeah, they became extinct long ago, but we are so used to them that they're still there. Mm. And there's also the, the whole thing about it being more secure because I need your face right mm -hmm. if i can have a picture if it's not so secure but let's just say that every facial recognition system is as secure as the iphone right i would need your face mm. i can't go and create a what do you call it model of your face a 3d model of your face it probably wouldn't work we've seen researchers try some researchers have broken into it with some advanced you know facial mapping technology you know like facial cloning sorry yeah. technology but even if i wore a mask that made me look like you there's a high possibility it wouldn't work okay. i've seen videos where it didn't work okay you know the person wore a mask supposed to look like the the owner of the phone and it didn't unlock so biometrics do pose better security i mean it's besides you needing the person's physical presence to unlock it you also have to go to great lengths and like i've said on this show countless times you making it a step or two more difficult for the hacker basically dissuades them from continuing and it makes you safer yes so it's not 100 percent secure yeah but the fact that you're making it difficult for the hacker just like charlie this thing is stressing me let's move on to the next one you know what i mean so mm. um it's best to it, biometrics are better than passwords mm. yeah now let's look at it uh, from the other side too as well. Having the two, it means that you're 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 eating safer because there are point where if your face recognition is not working, when you try like mm. a few times, and that brings the password mm -hmm. for you now to lock in the password, so you're able to use your phone. Yeah. Um, between you using the password and the facial recognition, um, which of them do you think that probably if you're not familiar with? For example, my phone got a problem. Uh, a phone that I was using before got a problem mm -hmm. and the facial recognition was not working again. I think I changed the earpiece or something like that and it was not mm. working again. So there are connections to all of these. So yeah. in a situation like that, how do you go about it? You still think the password is safer if you still want to use the phone? Well, you have to... See, the security is always... We always say that you, the, the user of the device is the last point of security. Like, mm -hmm. You are the weakest link you are the one who can make someone enter your phone or someone break into your computer or yeah. anything so even if you're using a password it's how you protect your device that's going okay. to make you secure you can have the most complicated password but you write it on a sticky note and post it on your fridge <laughs> have yeah. you secured yourself yeah you know you haven't so com a combination of biometrics and passwords is what usually makes people safe so if you lose one you are halfway that's a, that's a problem yeah, there. Yeah, halfway there. So what it means that you've, you've defeated the purpose of securing yourself halfway. So about 50% of your security is gone. But 
yeah, most devices give you this or that, not this and that. So for instance, your iPhone, even though the Face ID will probably be working, you're still offered the opportunity to use your password as backup. So it's not both. You can't do this and that. It's always this or that. It's not always. In, in the case of a smartphone, this or that. Mm. But in some secure um, environments, yeah. it's that's why you have the two-step verification or two-factor authentication. It's this and that and that. You, mm -hmm. know, you have to go through multiple steps. You enter your password and then you confirm biometrics. In, in, a, in a space where about with your phone, it's considered that sometimes your face ID may not work. Yeah. You need a backup, right? So that's why it's one or the other and not mm -hmm. one and the other. If they make sure that both work all the time seamlessly, it would be this and that. And that guarantees you more security. Okay, now um, we have so much to talk about, but our time, unfortunately, uh, we'll not be able to even delve into some of the major things that we wanted to talk about today here on the show, but hopefully we'll be able to continue. But before that, mm. um, I'm, when I'm going to bed, I put toothpaste on my face. I mean, it's just some sort of um, mm. clearance for my face. Um, is, is it possible? I've, no, I've not tried for some funny reasons. I've not tried whether it's going to work or not. But is, is it going to affect my facial recognition if I want to use the phone? So if I put anything that my face didn't recognize at the time when I was doing the setting of that. So have you ever heard a girl say that after putting on makeup, her phone didn't recognize her? No, it didn't recognize it. So it works. It works. It oh. works. It, like I said, it doesn't, it, it actually depends on which facial technology, okay. facial recognition technology. There's so many types. Yeah. There's types that just use a photo, right? Okay. And it has to match. With your iPhone, it doesn't use a photo. It uses an infrared camera. An infrared camera does not see color. Okay. It sees black and white and it projects dots. So. Whether you are, you know, you were like me, and then you became light skinned later or some parts in your life because a miracle happened, yeah, it'll, it'll still see you. Come, come, come here. Yeah. Okay. You have to so come on. Leave me alone. Come here. I want to dry some of your BMW. Um, um, do you have your makeup oh, wait, wait. on? No, wait. I don't have makeup um, on. I, I woke up like this. Can you open the? Can you open the phone? Are you checking my messages? You know what I'm talking about? Come here.